This past week's pickups, episode number 21. So we hit up another card show in Iowa here in Des Moines. It's about two hours west of me. So I did set up at this show. It was a pretty good show, a nice turnout. Had some really good dealers there, about a 60-table show. Probably 25, 30 dealers there. So we are able to get around and buy some stuff. Sold a good amount of stuff. I also traded for some stuff. So that'll be the first thing I go through here. I just essentially traded a bunch of um, lower price cards for these items here. Um, so let's get into those first. First off, we got some graded cards here. I have no idea what these are worth. This is a Beau Bichette 2020 Panini Select. CSG graded 9 mint. So we got another graded card here. PSA 8, R.J. Barrett. No idea what these are worth, but kind of nice looking cards. Also, we got here a Shone Atane, a, P or a SGC 9 on this one. That is his rookie 2018 tops. He's off to a little bit of a rough start, but I think he'll turn it on, around pretty quickly here this season. Next off, we got a nice one here. This is a PSA certified Walter Payton. It's a calling card. I'm not sure what year these were released, probably like 95 or something like that. You will see these around, but it's a pretty nice looking card and it's PSA certified. So these are the things I traded for once again. Another box here of cards. These are all, all came from a, a guy I know. We usually work out some deals when I'm when we get together. You know, this is all kind of, it's all newer stuff. I'll have to go through this, rookies, and um, I saw some bigger names in here. So we got a LeBron, some LeBrons right there. No idea what these go for. I'll comp them out, you know, for the most part. I'll go through and I'll either send them off to Com C or they'll just end up at my table at shows. So I've got a 25 cent box, a couple of 25 cent boxes, and I got some $2 boxes and $5 boxes and $10 stuff. And um, I took a, a quite a lot of stuff with me this time around and had a, had a lot of people coming through. Appreciate everybody stopping by. So as you can see, we got a big box, 800 count card box of just newer stuff, but you know, there's a lot of stars in there. So I'll go through those you know, later on and, and see what I can do with those. I think I can probably send, like I said, send some off to ComC and, you know, end up at my shows as well. So next off, I'll try to keep everything separate here by dealer. Mostly I just bought from a couple guys. First one here, this is Juan Marichal. This was 10 bucks. This is a higher number, 1963 tops. Pretty nice looking card. I believe he's still signing through the mail for $20. So that's what I plan to do with that one. So next off, we got some oddball stuff here. So I'll go through this stuff. This came from a dealer where I got some autograph stuff and also some just some vintage cards. So first thing, picked up this from him. Actually, Jack's cards. Um pretty neat item here this is Jacksonville baseball I'll have to do a little research on this. this is a check to Robert Taylor so I'm assuming this is a minor league club here Jacksonville baseball at, or maybe it's a bat company or something no idea but it's dated from 1958 and it's signed on the back for five dollars I thought that was a pretty cool looking item there Hawk Taylor. So, th yeah, Bob Hawk Taylor. He had the name on there. I just missed that. But Hawk Taylor was a major league for, leaguer for a while. So he passed away not too long ago. Um, and then we got an 8x10. Really nice looking 8x10. This is Vic Janowitz. So this is pretty cool here. We have a... He was a Heisman Trophy winner. Um, it must have been in 1950. So it says he was All-American selection on doesn't say what year, but I'm assuming it's 1950. And then he played baseball for the Pirates and um, obviously was a great football player. Played for 
pro football with the Redskins. So he was a two-way player, two-sport player. So pretty, really neat. I never really see too many Vic Janowitz 8x10s. So pretty cool photo right there. I'm a big Heisman Trophy fan, so I like to collect those autographs. Next off, we've got... This is from a Wheaties box where they had the backs. And this is Lefty Grove, one of the greatest pitchers of all time. I don't, you know, this is a really neat item. It's probably six by eight or so. You don't see a ton of these in Lefty Grove, obviously, you know, Hall of Famer, great pitcher. Thought that was a neat item. So that was 25 on that, 25 on the Janowitz. And another Heisman Trophy item here. So this was $20. This is a letter. I haven't actually read through this. I haven't looked through this stuff since I got it yesterday. But it's to, I know that he said it was to an airline pilot. So it's a letter to Doc Blanchard. So it also included this 1955 Topps All-American card. So it's a letter from this pilot to Doc Blanchard. I'll have to read through it. I won't do it right now, but and uh, so he responded by putting his Don Goodgoing Doc. So really interesting item. I really like to find this kind of stuff. You know, it's it's difficult to price it, but you know, you have a Heisman Trophy winner and Doc Blanchard. And uh, he played for Army. See there on that card. So really neat, unique item, one of a kind item. Another one of an, a kind item here. This is a a really interesting item because so first off, this is a contract to Whammy Douglas. So Whammy Douglas played in the fifties for a short period. He was always a tough signer, and it's a letter saying they must have made like facsimile autograph balls this is what i'm guessing he gets to pay one cent for each baseball sold during the second party signature first party so it's some kind of baseball that they autograph ball company so he was getting one cent for may he must have been actually signing baseballs maybe they were signing team balls or something I'll, i haven't read through this one either I'll read through and kind of figure out what exactly is going on there. But so one cent per ball sold. Final payment, second part, event that the second party is no longer employed in the major leagues is not to exceed the sum of $25. So he probably would have got $25. He didn't play very long. Kind of crazy. So that was dated. It's not actually dated, but it's in the from the 50s, probably 58 or so. Next off, we have a couple album pages here um, of Twins players. So the big ones here, the reason why I got it was there's Rod Carew and Tony Oliva, the big ones there. You got Rusty Torres, uh, Bill Hands, a few other guys. So for $15, Rod Carew, you know, one of the great hitters of all time. Tony Oliva just made the Hall of Fame. So pretty neat looking item there too. So same deal, or I got some vintage stuff from just some 63 Leaf cards here. More Leaf vintage. These are actually pretty difficult to find these days. Some vintage football. 63, this is 62 top, 66, 59. You know, I just try to pick out some cheap vintage stuff. Basketball, there's a Gretzky. I know I've mentioned this in the past. I think Gretzky stuff is really underpriced. Uh, uh, Detroit versus Villanova. So college team. Ver this University of Detroit, I guess. So this is a homecoming ticket from like 1950. Hockey, Daryl Dawkins rookie. This is a post-Canadian Football League, Bob Jeter, 
played at the University of Iowa. Some vintage Philadelphia football. Those are a dollar a piece. Vintage basketball for a buck a piece. Some of these Harlem Globetrotters. You don't see a ton of these. These were a buck a piece from 70. 70 Fleer, I believe. A Kobe card. And just another Kobe. Some post. Then a Al Adels. 1969. So all that stuff from that dealer, I believe I spent around $500 yesterday. Maybe $550, I think, is what I spent. So everything I'm showing here was $550. That's minus the trade stuff. That was a separate deal, but $550 is what I paid for everything. So this dealer had everything half price. On all this stuff so the prices you don't you see aren't the actual prices a few more cards from this dealer actually I see here from uh, 48 Bowman basketball 63 Tom Flores rookie 63 Fleer 57 Bill Sharman rookie he's in the Hall of Fame Dave Cowens rookie 71 tops and this I'd never seen these before, 1950. It's called R423, a tiny card, but it's got Casey Stengel, Andy Pafko, and Virgil Trucks. I have no idea, I've never seen these, no idea what they're worth. They're tiny, they must have been part of a game. So it's a three panel, looks like you can break those apart. Probably about impossible to find these hooked together, I would guess. So those were all, you know, as price pretty much. I think I paid, I think I paid a hundred for all those actually. So next, we'll get into this dealer here. This is the guy who had everything half price. So I believe I paid three twenty-five for all the stuff I'm showing here, and. Let's get into these. So some 72 times top tops high numbers. There's a 77 Kareem, uh, some earlier Tom Brady's. Here's a Larry Bird. So these prices aren't valid. You know, they were half off. Plus I got probably a better deal because I bought a bunch. So that's the Larry Bird rookie. 80, 81 tops. That's a those are the three panels. That's a broken apart panel. Card with wilt on it. Another card with wilt. Lou Alcindor. Um, let's see what we got here. These are box bottoms from 85. Pretty tough to find these. Bo Jackson rookie. Star power Kobe. Mel Daniels rookie. 70, 71 tops. Uh, championship game card, a couple of John Havlicek's from 7071, and another Kareem. Some more. I bought almost exclusively basketball here from the 70s and 80s. Leaders card, Dan Issel, rookie. Kobe insert. Tim Duncan insert. Jordan skybox premium another kobe insert lebron chrome tops chrome jordan card there with harry carey this is a artist gilmore this is actually his rookie card aba all-star and some more 70s a lot of 71s 70 71s i bought there Larry Brown rookie. Kurt Warner. Some of the stuff, I have no idea what it's worth, but a Kurt Warner Topps Chrome Refractor in nice shape. Looks mint. And it's numbered on the back out of $9.99. Here's another bird. That was only $2.50. That was a great deal on that one. You know, obviously, the fact that it's separated and everything makes him worth far less, but still, that is his rookie. Grand Hill Star Power, Ovation Kobe, J. 
John Paxson rookie. And here's a magic one of those separated cards, rookie card. Here's another magic. And another magic. So this one actually is his, from his actual rookie. It's the actual rookie card piece. Because these we had the all-star and leader ones like that. And this one was not like that. So that was actually considered his rookie. Artis Gilmore rookie. I'm going to write to him with that. That's He's charging $20. And 20 bucks on that Gilmore rookie. Those really went up in the past year. Here's another box bottom. Joe Montana. A couple more box bottoms from 87 tops. So as you can see, I really like to buy the unusual stuff, not, you know, kind of your typical stuff. This is a 89 tops traded, Barry Sanders rookie, just like a Bowman insert, Chipper Jones, Frank Thomas rookie. You know, you're buying this kind of stuff for a bucket piece. You can't really go wrong. Dwight Gooden rookie. Here's a Peyton box bottom. Starting lineup, Joe Montana. There's one of the most classic cards, most recognized photos in sports history, really. That Bo Jackson football baseball. And then from that same dealer. So these, I thought these were really cool. I'm not really into buying wrappers so much, but when you see something unusual and you know that these are difficult to find. I just have to believe these are hard to find. So this is the 1970-71 Tops basketball wrappers. So these would have been the Tall Boys, you know, the Pete Maravich rookie, 1970, came out of here. Um, so they had the Tall Boys in 69 and 1970, Tops did. So these are wrappers from that set, and I got quite a few of them here. And I got... I'll show you all those first. These were all from that 7071. I think I think there was like around I think there was 13 total of those. And then this I believe is I don't think there's any date on these, so I got to look at look it up, but these might be 80, 80 81 82. And Pro football, I have no idea what year that is, tops. I believe this is the, this might be, I don't know, this might be the Magic Bird year. Another one of those football, another football, so they're 10 cents a piece. You know, they're sometime within the 70s. Another one of those. Another one of those. Another basketball one, and then we finally finish it out here with the wrappers. This baseball one, I have no idea. 79, maybe. So those, all those wrappers, all those cards from that dealer, I think I paid 350 something like that. So pretty nice stuff. As I said, a lot of just kind of unusual things that you don't really see, which is like what I like to look for. And to finish it off, I just picked up some dollar cards from a dealer and then a couple $2 cards. Some stuff that I thought was a good price. Just kind of a Kobe. This is his actual rookie, but it's, you know, an, it's a off-brand rookie. Art Graham, 67 maybe. This is a Frank Thomas fifth anniversary card from the Leaf series. Insert Brett Favre, you know, star Card, Court Kings, Team Pinnacle, Puckett, Van Slyke, Joe Schmidt, 63, a couple Kobe tops, or earlier Kobe's, and then a couple Dave Concepcion rookies, 71 tops. So for a buck a piece on those, that was a great deal, I thought. And then to finish it off here, we could just have a few, these were three for five, so we have a tops mini. Some of these minis are worth a good amount. Donnie Anderson. And then finally, this was a great deal here. I thought George Young, 1951 Tops Magic. 
pretty tough to find these cars in any kind of decent condition. Most of them are bent, creased. So that is it for everything I got at the show. Like I said, it was a great turnout. A lot of people come out, a lot of people were buying. So we, I was able to sell a good amount and then also find a, some really neat stuff with these kind of things, these contracts and letters and stuff like that. The stuff that I really enjoy looking for, you never know what you're gonna find. So that's it this, for this one, guys. We got the links below, check them out. ComC, eBay, Instagram. I need to work on my Instagram, but try to get to that next week or two here upload a bunch of personal collection items and uh one more announcement we've got a contest coming up 20 or the uh 300 subscriber contest we'll have that we'll have uh, some giveaways here some autograph cards i might put, have some of these vintage kind of cards i'm sure people just don't want to watch or just get autograph cards maybe we'll have uh some vintage kind of stuff too to give away so uh, stay tuned for that we're at 298 so real close, hopefully this week or next, we'll reach that milestone. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.